Jane Steinhoff and I'm doing my joy journey on 3D printing. This is my old 3D printer, but I'm assembling a new one because my build plate isn't that big. We got this one off of eBay. I'm going to build this on a time lapse, so my brother will come and help me because this is kind of a family project. Building the 3D printer took a lot longer than we thought because we had to go through a lot of changes in the parts. We printed some parts on our old 3D printer because some parts did not fit correctly. I learned a lot about electronics, including how to use a multimeter and how to solder wires. A multimeter measures how much power is flowing through the wires. Another challenge was that the instructions were hard to understand because this product was from China. I guess all my time working on Legos finally paid off. This is day two on the build. The first day we didn't have any instructions. so. Today we got instructions, so we should be able to get this job done. You can learn a lot about 3D printers just by watching it print. This type of 3D printer is like a controlled hawk glue gun. There are others that print with powder, or that print each layer out with a laser, but those printers are a lot more expensive. In order to heat the filament, the nozzle, the head of the 3D printer, heats up to 220 degrees Celsius, which is about 428 degrees Fahrenheit. This melts a filament, kind of a plastic thread that is under just under two millimeters thick, and draws the part one layer at a time. It first does the outline of the part, and then it fills the solid areas by drawing lines. The head moves up as each layer is finished. As you can imagine, this takes a long time. The longest time we spent printing a single part was 13 hours. Of course, a big part in learning to print in 3D is learning how to draw things in 3D. I started drawing parts using Tinkercad. It is a very powerful program and I got to know it very well. I have since moved on to 1 to 3D design, which allows me to do cooler things like round the edges. A cool place to get ideas to make things is Thingiverse. Thingiverse has models people have created from all over the world. 3D printing is a lot of fun, but it requires a lot of tinkering. I highly recommend experimenting with them and printing stuff you could use around the house. But don't call me if you get stuck because I'm too busy tinkering with my own 3D printer.